Hey, welcome to the very last build of our clinics at this point in time, the one for July. So at any point in time, guys, um, well, the topic of the video is going to be connecting my Samsung device to this Arch uh, Arco Linux system. Okay. And um, that's the idea, but I'll also explain lots of other things in this video. One of them is what did I do prior to making this tutorial? I thought better start from scratch new. Um, let's keep that open. That's okay. That's that open. So I thought, why not build another ISO? You can build an ISO anytime. You don't need to wait for our releases or monthly releases or whatever. You can build enough uh, choices here. The Arc Linux ISO, Arc Linux D ISO, all the B ISOs, the full ones, the minimal ones and the bare one. There is no explanation of the bare one, but it's exactly the same as all the others. So if you want to build, you do exactly what I just did here. I have an Arc Linux ISO, I could clone it, run script 30, done. I have an ISO. So then I burn it with our USB device, USB image writer, popped in the USB, said this is my image 1907 and burn. Boot it up, clean installation. After a clean installation, I'll do this, bit.ly Arco get started. So that's the thing I'll download. It's actually pointing to my personal Google Drive, get started targz, download it, open it, extract it and run it. So there are tutorials about it and you can see uh, what's it like or what's inside. It's a lot of scripts. We can take a look here and there. It's a lot of scripts and I just ran this one, the bare start here. So a clean installation. What I do I do? I run these, these things. You have to run your, your own stuff, rebuild these things and make your own um, share or bit.ly link like I do to get, well, to, to, to stay rolling and to, to quickly have a rolling system. So that's all the things I did prior to this. Then next thing, uh, that's Arc Linux Nemesis. I got my Nemesis GitHub. So if you probably hear, remember the word Nemesis is going to pop up in many of our tutorials and videos and articles and so on. Now the, this, this particular thing, let's see if GitHub finds it. GitHub Nemesis. Uh, phew, let's see. I think it's best to put Arc Linux with it. And again, I can point out in this video that that's, that's one thing I don't like about Vivaldi. The search is done with Bing. So Google set as default, save and forget about it. Now I never see these settings again ever because I use sync. So I put in my name, put in my password, everything that syncs and also these settings. It's only with a clean installation that I see it. So GitHub Nemesis Arco Linux that gives me, of course, a proper link. Thank you, Google. So we have here our GitHub with all the scripts, the things that I run as my personal setup to what do I do after an installation of Arc Linux? This, this is what I do afterwards. I install even more stuff. Okay, so that's installed. And now finally we get into the topic. The topic of the video is how to make um, something like let's oh yeah there is there are links in here so I can use the links from the script so I've made this new script and, it, and every time I learn something I put it in here because that's the easiest way later in a month or two I would like to reuse it redo it and um, then I have just a script to run so I figured out that in order to use this application which I hope I have a link for Definitely not. So we're going to put it in there as well. So screen copy and then Android is a good way to Google it. Display and control your system onto Arch Linux, Arch Linux. Okay. So this is what you get. Your own system displayed on your machine. Now, this link, let's uh, make our system or script better. 
So that's a good source to get more information. This source copy is an application that provides display and control of Android devices. I've just played around with the uh, part of display, but there's lots of more stuff wireless, record screen, multi devices, full screen, show touches, install APK, turn screen off. So I let you read it and a lot of shortcuts I haven't tried out until now. So there is a lot of things to do, but first you need to install. And that's the point. After you figure it out, you just put it in a script and then you go. So let's run this script. It's going to install two things basically. All right, and go. Two things are going to be installed. And let's put this guy over here. So that's the line that's going to, well, has run, did run already. And then the screen copy is just already fixed. There is already in yay the application. So we don't need to do anything. We just need to run it. Fine. Okay. So next thing is I have a Samsung S8 Plus. Okay. Pop in my USB cable. You hear the cover. Okay. Pop in my USB cable in the Android machine. And then I'm following my cord. I'm gonna pop it in the USB as we speak. Okay. We we'll get a nice little sound. Ba boop. So saying, okay, it's connected and we can actually already have a look at things in here if, if it's working. So not yet. We need to um, do some things. Well, the first thing you'll do or have to do is to tell the system here, which you can't see now, but my Android, so make sure your, your Android device is awake. Take a look at your screen and it asks access. Can, will I allow, can you allow access to the telephone data? Probably something like that in English. And I say, okay, admit. Okay, I have admitted access to my machine. And when I click on it, I can indeed see my card and my phone. So all the information is available. Okay. Next thing I should do, and that's something I can already show you, I think. Let's, let's try it out. If you want to screen copy, if you, you want to screen, to copy the screen over, then you run this. The daemon not running, starting now. So there's a daemon that's running. But at this point in time, I get um, a message on my Android asking, USB error, and then something I don't know really know what would be the translation for it in English, but he is asking the fingerprint for the RSA key of the computer. And then you say, always admit from this computer. And then you say, okay. So there is an, always a communication between your device and your Android. So make sure it's awake. Okay, done. I've admitted it on my device. When I do it again, ta-da, we have a well, visual re representation of my device. And when I swipe on my device, you'll see that everything just moves along. So we can actually show you things. And one of the things that you need to be able, what you, you need to enable on your Android machine is in settings. Go to settings, all the way down. There is something new that I didn't have prior to today. That's the last line, which says something like developer options in Dutch, right? So you don't have that. You go to info phone, that one, info telephone, it says to here in, in Dutch, so info phone. Scroll down, go to software data or software gegevens, right? So the one in the middle, the one I'm touching now, you see the, the color change. And then you go to build number. Build number is in the middle, Build number is this thing. Now, it says in Dutch here, the development is already activated. It's already done it. Now, what do you need to do? You need to 
press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I believe it was seven or eight times. And then it, it's actually going to tell you, uh, press another time, press another time um, to, um, to activate this development thing. And at sudden, suddenly say, okay, now you're becoming a developer. Okay, then we go up and up and you see this development options you go in here make sure it's on so if it's not on screen is gone you see it's done we can't film anything anymore because I just set off so activate it again again communication do you want to admit yes no of course you say yes otherwise you don't have anything anymore let me become developer again here because I th threw myself out of development and now when that's done I go back to software data no I go back one level up and I have at the bottom developer options again available and then the point is to scroll down till you see USB error tracking or something in English I don't really know what it will be in English but let me show you now so if everything is um, available if you went to info telephone and then the software data you had to press build number like seven eight times then they say oh you're becoming a developer go up go up and you have something new in here make sure that it's on which is obvious but it should be also on here if that's not on it'll break it again so off back on on my device connecting again and we're back so that's the point um, gonna play around with it a little bit so um, if something is not working there are some things some uh, links I've provided in here so control C links that you can have a look at like the Android debug bridge is a good one because this was not easy I find it difficult to figure it out but suddenly everything clicked together and the puzzle pieces and now it's super clear to me but it's not always the case when you start at projects you've never seen before so if that's uh, something you'd like to try out that's great I'm not a specialist guys so if you are stuck in this Go for the Arch Wiki, see what else you can find. There's a lot of information in here for things you can could do or can do, and other applications we can add as well. But um, I'm not a specialist. I'm dabbling in these things, but I'm happy it works. It's kind of neat. If ever I need to explain something to my students, which would be okay, right? So I said, look guys, go to your app, do this, do that, and I'll show you what uh, you need to do is a wonderful tool for that all right enjoy using this particular application just